Man, I can't even do my my welcome. I can't even do my welcome, man. Thanks for joining another Goon Intelligence Sports Podcast show. This has to be the lowest of the lows. We can't get no lower. We can't get no lower. This has got to be it. This is the straw that breaks the camel back. It has to. It has to. It fucking has to. There's no way Dennis Allen can be the Saints head coach tomorrow. There's no way. And I say and there's no way, but look, I thought there was no way we would lose to the Carolina Panthers. Not the worst NFL scoring defense. Not the team that just traded away their free agent signing this week and playing uh, Xavier Leggett at wide right receiver and David Moore. Not the team that their first round draft pick still hasn't played this year. The running back. Right? Not 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 that team. Not the team that's playing Bryce Young at quarterback that has that that was benched and only got his job back because Andy Dalton had a car accident. Not not that team, right? We we can't lose to that team. Well, guess what? You fucking did. Look, let me tell you something. They told me Derek Carr was coming back. They told me yeah, we still have a mathematic chance to get into the playoffs or play for the division. All we need is our players, our starters, our our dogs. That's that's what that's what I got from the, the, the publications in New Orleans to media this week from players. Or oh, I, I got I got I got Cam Jordan saying, yeah, we met as leaders. And, and the post in the locker room is good. Uh, uh, the players meeting hasn't happened yet. Well, you need to have a fucking players meeting in Carolina locker room. Don't even freaking wait to get back to the city. Have one now. And what you do is you take all your leaders and you march Mickey Loomis ass into the meeting, middle of the meeting and you tell them if the motherfucking coach Dennis Allen is here tomorrow I fucking quit Alvin Kamara played one of the best games I've ever seen a saint play and you lost Derek Carr does just a fuck enough so he can't be blamed for the bullshit. I'm tired of it. We're paying him too much freaking money to get fucking 22 points against a team allowing 34. It's fucking pathetic. It's fourth and four. And you throw the goddamn ball on a fade route to your number four fucking receiver? Are you freaking kidding me? What kind of bullshit is that? Ain't no fucking statue for no goddamn Clint Kubiak. He's going to get you fired, Clint. You gonna be the next motherfucker that Derek Carr has on his hit list. The motherfucker is... I, God damn it, he's an offensive coordinator assassin. That's what the hell he is. I'm tired. He ain't no quarterback. He's an offensive coordinator assassin. And you next. This don't make no damn sense. Get rid of everybody. Mickey, get rid of him. Get rid of Jeff Ireland. Get rid of the fucking offensive coordinator. Get rid of everybody who's not named Alvin Kamara. I don't give a damn if Elvin Kamara got to play by his damn self. One on 11 the rest of the year. We might have a better goddamn chance. If, if it's possible, make that happen. Sick of this shit watching this bull crap on my goddamn TV. I ain't buy this TV to watch these people lose like that. 
trotting that same bullshit out there week after week, getting your fucking head beat in. What kind of professional is that? Are y'all even freaking practicing? Now, I know I'm cussing a lot, but God damn it, I'm mad. Tired of this. Every goddamn week, it's the same thing. I don't care who playing quarterback. Jake Hale, Spencer Rattler, Derek Carr, you're freaking losing. This is stupid. I want to know one thing. I want to know one thing. I ain't, I, I, I ain't writing nothing down. It's all coming off the fuck. I'm just, I'm just venting at this point. I want to know one thing. You had the ball in the fourth quarter after Trevor Penning and the fucking holding calls and shit. You ended up with first and 30. You make it down to fourth and one, and it's a, maybe five minutes left in the game, and you do the offensive, uh, 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 the jump off sides bull crap. Why not go for it? We're two and six. What the hell you got to freaking lose? Go out there and get the one yard. QB power with Taysom Hill. They ain't been stopping it the whole damn game. They ain't found a way to stop it. What are we doing at that particular point? You punt the ball, right? You get Bryce Young to go three and out. They punt to you. You get the ball back. And then you don't do nothing with it again. You kick the ball back to them. They score a touchdown. You get the ball back. And on fourth and four, you go 30 yards, up to 20, 30, however many yards on a fade route to your fourth fucking receiver. It doesn't make any sense. You might as well have went for it at midfield, fourth and one. You play like I just don't understand the dumb shit. Before halftime, what was that button? What was that bull? What are we holding on the timeouts for? News flash, Dennis. If you don't use all your timeouts in the first half, they just don't let you keep them in the second half. If you don't call a timeout in the first half, you don't get to have four in the second half. You get three again. Use the goddamn timeouts. You got Jay Feely in the press box talking about, oh, I don't know what they're doing. I don't, I don't know what they're doing. why they use the timeout right there. And he ain't even no damn coach. Ain't never, I don't know if he's coached in his career, but he ain't no coach, right? He's a press, he ain't an announcer. You've been coaching the last three years, and you got plenty of coaching experience as a defense coordinator, but let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You is not a head coach. You will never be head coach material. The Saints made a damn mistake making you their head coach, and they're paying for it right now. I hope and I pray that you never do this or give this kind of grief to any other goddamn team in the future. I wouldn't worth, wish this on the Atlanta Falcons. You suck. You always will suck. You will never amount to shit as a head coach. You are 26 and 50 goddamn three as a coach and you need to be taken out back and tarred and feathered. You're an embarrassment to head coaches. That's I said it. You're an embarrassment to head coaches. All head coaches in America. I'm talking from Pee Wee League, middle school, high school, college. You are an embarrassment. Period. You stink. You make my ass chapped. I can't stand the sight of you on the New Orleans Saints sideline. You need to be fired. Duh. You deserve to be fired. I'm sure you're probably the nicest person in the world, but at this point, I don't give a damn. He has to get off my fucking team sideline. You suck. Just goddamn terrible. You wasting people's performances. Alvin Kamara out there dragging his team, kicking and screaming to a win. And he can't because he got this bumbling idiot on the sideline, wasting timeouts, not using them. 
Clint Kubiak calling the stupidest of goddamn plays. You reminded me of Sean Percocet. That's the exact goddamn reason why I call him Sean Percocet. Third one, he throw the fucking ball 40 yards downfield. What in the hell is the analytics on that? Fourth and four. I'm sure it doesn't say thir throw 30 yards. Don't make no damn sense. There's no way. There's no way. No way. If I'm head coach, I'll allow that fucking play call. I don't, at that point, I wouldn't care about micromanaging. My job is on the goddamn line. That's if your job is on the line. Because Mickey, blind ass, got his head up Gale ass so goddamn far. Ain't no goddamn way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Anybody in the Saints brass can just sit up there and allow this foolishness to continue. The players can say all the hell they want to say. I don't expect them to come out into the public and say, yeah, we got real locker room problems. Our locker room sucks. The morale is down. I would never expect them to say it. They show it with their play, though. They show it with their play. Some of them out there playing for pride. I know Sean Jean, uh, Jean Charles is out there playing for a job. That's how he comes up with that unlikely interception. He playing to get more paper. He playing for a spot. Should have never been cut in the first place. They should have found a way to keep him. That's why he playing so goddamn hard. This is his opportunity. But you got players out there like Tyron Matthew that's just fucking sucking up the Gatorade at this point. They don't give a damn. He got he got paper. He got millions of dollars. Yeah, I'm calling names because I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of it all. Chase Young, man, he's the best almost sacking defensive lineman I've ever seen in my life. Peyton Turner out there doing Peyton Turner things. All these players out here are just putting wieners in the fucking gumbo. You suck. You're good for nothing. Get rid of them all. Everybody. Not named Alvin Kamara. Nah, I ain't got. I ain't. I ain't got. I ain't got no. I ain't got no predictions for you, Chad. I ain't got. I ain't got nothing. All I got is my emotions, and I'm venting, and I'm pissed. Ain't no damn way we lost to the Carolina Panthers. Just terrible. I don't care about no penalties. I don't care about no nine calls. Yeah, Alvin Kamara had a horse collar that didn't get called. Yeah, the uh, the PI on De on Demario Davis was a. It, it, it looks that call could go either way, 50-50. But the Saints imploded in the last six minutes of the game with the fucking penalties and shit. All, all my Derek Carr supporters, I just need you to do me one thing. When Derek Carr gets the hell off this team, I need you to go with him. I really do. Because if you still out here talking about how is it Carr's fault, then you're the damn problem. The man does just enough to say, hey, I did my job. I threw a touchdown. But what in the hell were you doing on other on all the other plays? We don't pay him 40, 30, 30, 30 some odd million dollars a year to throw one touchdown. We don't pay him $30 million a year just to look off one person and then make a throw. He looks at one read and then that's it. He's not a good quarterback. And I'm sick and tired of people telling me he is and he can get the job done. He cannot. He is the type that get coaches fired. He's an offensive coordinator assassin. I will say it to forever as long as he is in that black and gold. He is terrible. We need to move on from him. Hopefully we get a top five pick. Shadur Sanders, any quarterback, I don't care who the hell it is. Give me somebody else, please. I'm tired of it. Next week, the Atlanta Falcons come to town. They won again today. It's their year, man. It's their year. It's their year. Hopefully, you know. Look, I want the Atlanta Falcons to keep winning. Keep winning, Atlanta. Because when you when you lose, finally, 
It's going to be just that much sweeter. It's going to be just that much sweeter. Keep winning. Look, man, I'm out of here because I'm, I'm, if, if, if I keep going, I may say something that's going to get me canceled, and I'm not trying to do that. Look, I appreciate the support from everybody. If you new here, I, I apologize for the language, but I'm tired. I'm, t I'm sick and tired, and I can't take it no more. And unfortunately, we got nine more games, and it doesn't look like it's going to get any better. But I know one thing. If Dennis Allen is here by Tuesday, I know Mickey Loomis is being blackmailed. Period. This has been another episode of the Goon Intelligence Sports Podcast Show. Thank you for all the support. I appreciate it. Until next time, peace.